a very lovely tutorial on how to do the Triketra, and finally cleared up for me the source of the name, which um, turns out I've actually seen a lot of them. Um, this shape right here is the version of the Triketra, with a uh, circle just inside the three foil uh, triangle, right? And it turns out, um, this is quite a familiar shape to me because it was on a lot of the hymnals and uh, Bibles in my mom's church when I was growing up. So, um, as I was pouring through the Wikipedia entry on this, I came across a very interesting compound trichetra figure, wherein you've got trichetra here, you've got trichetra here, you've got trichetra here, and you've got trichetra here. And it's called Carolinian Cross. And I've been working on uh, dissecting it and really, I guess, playing around with the idea of more compound flowers, wherein, say, not just your, uh, your koi, but also your hand is performing, oops, a flower motion, like so. Um, and a couple other interesting ideas that took me to. One, the idea of having a square with diagonals crisscrossing it. And just working your way through each diagonal in turn, so. Like so. Which isn't exactly like the cross that I saw on the Wikipedia entry. Which I'll go ahead and link to it in the text because I don't know how to edit it into video. But um, I think the actual way to do it, um, since it, it basically is like a four petal antispin flower in the middle, and then the edges become the flat sides of trichetras. So I think actually a pattern that looks like an iron cross is the way to do it. And, unless I'm mistaken, it winds up looking like this. Or something like that. So aside from that, because I've been playing so much lately with uh, stalls, I've been uh, kind of taking up the idea of doing stall intensives, namely taking the four stalls that I know, which are, if you imagine there being a box around a static spinning koi, there's a stall at each corner, actually two stalls at each corner. There's up, there's down, there's bottom, there's top each corner, right? So, to, uh, just like I did for isolations, I've been working through all the, uh, all the four combinations of direction that are intrinsic to Poi. Oops. So, same time, same direction. Same direction, split time. And of course, with each of these, you gotta think about stall on the inside and stall on the outside, right? Like, like so. Um, so yeah, split time, same direction. So you can combo them up inside to outside, or keep it on the outside. Um, and then of course there's top and bottom. And inside top and bottom. And there is 
the same time, same direction. Ideally, and of course, uh, split time offsets. And the one most people now love from split offsets. So, yeah, it needs more work, but it would be intensive if it didn't require that. Um, last but not least. learning a lot of new tricks, I've actually been working a lot of footwork lately, and um, specifically kind of getting my feet to move in plane. And uh, there's a gentleman who, um, I don't actually, I can't remember his real name, on YouTube, he's 90 Day Dance, and uh, between his advice and Baz's at Fire Drums, I've been thinking kind of a lot more about how I use my weight, especially as it pertains to moving my hands around. Like, for instance, if, uh, if say, I'm going to be turning in the same direction as my hands, it's an excellent opportunity to make my hands and my foot come down at the same time. And likewise, if I'm going to be turning against it, I can sweep out, kind of emphasize those motions, right? So, if I'm, say, doing some flowers together, I can use this as a way to really emphasize the motion. Or, uh, Triketra is actually a great example of this. So, for example, if I turn into it, or, excuse me, that was turning away from it, that's turning into it. So that's an kind of interesting visual flourish to make your entire body move with uh, the with poi. And of course, to kind of like hover for a second. Oops. Try this again. To kind of hover for a second. Before you complete the motion, and I mean, that's just that's just oh, getting into uh, the beginnings of it. Imagine if you're going same t or opposite, see, opposite same time. Excuse me. In which case, you know, great opportunity to kind of unfold and then fold back into yourself. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that is this week in a nutshell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.